All right, this is a back pedal. And this is a circle strike. Backpedaling is when you press backward on your keyboard and you move backwards. The problem with that is that you move at 50% movement speed while going backwards. And in PvP videos, people capture that and they flame you for it. So instead of moving backwards on your keyboard, you have to press sideways and do sideways strike. First of all, let me show you what backpedaling looks like. Alright, what is a clicker? A clicker is someone that manually hovers their mouse pointer over their skill bar and clicks all their skills. This is very, very bad. If you're a clicker, you cannot get high ratings in Arena. There's no way. And if you say you have high Arena ratings and you're a clicker, I don't believe you. It's not possible. You have to bind all your skills in order to be successful in arenas. What is a keyboard turner? A keyboard turner is the product of a clicker. Because since you have to click all your skills, the only way you can move is by clicking left, right, forward on your keyboard. So it's very easy to spot a keyboard turner. They do these sharp movements. And when I see a keyboard turner, they're easy kills for me. All right, I'm gonna talk a little bit about clicking. Clicking in the game World of Warcraft. I'm not saying that all clickers are bad. You have clickers in PvE. You have, uh, you have healers that use grid and mouse over heal macros. That's actually better for PvE. For PvP, there's a huge advantage of binding all your skills to buttons. Now how do you stop being a clicker? It's easy. I tell everyone, the only thing you have to do is get a mouse with more than two buttons. Now you guys already know which mouse I use. I use the Razer Naga. It's a 17 button mouse. For my warrior, I don't use all 17 buttons. I use one through nine. But for my druid, I'm actually using all the buttons on this because there's way too many macros for, for a rest of druid in arenas. Everything, all the skills, you have to bind them so you don't have to lift your mouse pointer up and click on anything. And also, being a non-clicker solves the problem of keyboard turning. You won't keyboard turn if you have all your skills binded. A lot of people ask me, Swifty, does it take a long time to get used to this mouse? And I tell them, dude, no. Just go ahead and just start binding your skills to them. And a lot of times, it takes them like two, three days and they're already, they're already binded like nine buttons. I've given mouse to all my arena teams. Like anybody that plays with me in arenas, I send them, I send them all. Razor and I know it's a huge advantage to have this. Let's start with the AoE. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to circle strike. This is how you circle strike. What you're going to do is you're going to press the right mouse button and leave it pressed. And you're going to go and be looking like this and for example while moving to the left. <laughs> So eventually you're going to run out of mouse space, so you're going to have to press the other way. And now you come back. And you run the other way. Now what's, what you have to do is you're going to have to try to do this while getting spells off. I'm going to do light blooms. I'm going to run the other way. Rejuve. And here's on my warrior doing circle strife, getting off abilities. Oh, running out of mouse space. <laughs> and now the one shot macro. Don't see it? Oh no, not enough. <laughs> sort of. Oh, 49,000. <laughs> Recently, the number one Resto Druid in Europe, his name is Aladria, sent me a guide on how to play a Resto Druid. I have it on my website, it's swiftygaming.com if you want to check it out. And he shows how to bind his macros to the Razor Naga in a way that makes it really overpowered. 
Next, I'm going to show how I use my Razer Naga to be able to CC other players without having to target them. Right here, I have the Razer Anansi keyboard. If I zoom into the keys right here, I'm going to show the modifiers that I have set. This one I have set to shift, and this one I have set to control. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is show how to target my teammates. This button targets teammate one, teammate two, and the last one is targeting myself. Next, I'm going to show how to CC enemy players without having to target them. All right, this button does target arena one cyclone. This one target arena two cyclone and target arena three cyclone. Now if I use this button, a shift modifier, it does target arena one root, target arena two root, and target arena three root. Now if I press the control modifier, it does target arena three, target arena three hibernate. And now I'm gonna do target arena one cyclone, target arena two root, and target arena three hibernate. And all this is done without having to target the enemies. He says in his guide, you need to make fast decisions and that's why you can't waste time clicking on groups or arena frames. He shows the importance of binding these keys to the Razor Naga. The good thing about these macros that he shows is that you can have your teammate targeted while CCing the enemy. So the enemies really don't know who you're gonna CC next. I have all these macros set up on my Druid now and I've been using them and it's been amazing. I'm having so much fun on my Druid right now. The way you can throw out CCs with these keybinds is just crazy. Okay, we have the winner to the video submission contest and the winner's right there. No video submissions this week, but stay tuned for next week. We'll have one. We'll have a winner for next week's video. I recently got back from the live stream I did at Machinima, which was in Hollywood, California. It was amazing. It was so much fun. I had such a good time, and you, I had such a blast with you guys at the live stream. And we got two prizes. Two people won Razor Nagas, and I'm gonna send that out to you. The winners are Pete Daly86 and AA Cives. So congratulations to the winners, and guys, check your emails. Hello, I am the least so interesting person in the room. Seagull. 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 Hi. My favorite, my favorite. Hold on. My death knight? Superiority. Were you exhausted okay. this morning? Or? She went home and played well, more while. I played more while, but I had to get up for another hour. Just hanging just, around? I'm like, let's just hang around. You love it like, here. Let's just screw around. Okay, remember guys, since I was in California and since I was doing the live stream, and I just got back, I was grinding my druid for like two weeks. And I finally got my druid to 85, and I'm starting to deck him out, and I'm starting to do, I'm starting to actually play arenas on my druid. I'm, I'm learning it. I'm loving druids. I did not get a lot of warrior footage this week. Sorry. But I did get some druid footage, and I'm going to show it. Can you guys let me know in the comments if you guys want to see druid footage? I don't know. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see more warrior footage, or you want to see more druid footage, or you want to see both. A little bit of mix of both. I'd love to show druid footage, because I think I'm, I'm getting pretty good on my druid. Even though I'm... I just hit 80, like 85, like a week and a half ago. Was it two weeks or a week and a half ago? And I have 4,000 resilience already. People are like, Swift, how did you get so much resilience? A lot of BGs, a lot of BGs, <laughs> and a lot of Toba Rats. Yes. What's going on, guys? Red, bro. Owned! Owned with mushrooms! That's a hibernate and a cyclone on the hunter! Ownage! I'm trying to take the mill! What are you doing? This is a bot! Arrgh! How am I supposed to beat a lock by myself as a... <laughs> The rest of dread. Shut him up. Owned with the mushrooms. Owned. Oh yes. Ownage. <laughs> mushrooms again. Yeah, that did pretty good damage. Mushroom for the win! Oh! <laughs> mushroom for the win! More mushrooms, more mushrooms! 
Mushrooms, mushrooms, mushrooms. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. BAM! I'm coming. Oh I will not die! No! Yes! Top healing! Okay guys, one lucky winner is not gonna be a clicker anymore. I'm gonna send one lucky winner a Razor Naga. Remember, like this video and favorite it, and I'm gonna choose one winner randomly. I'm gonna win a Naga. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, so more PvP action on the way. As always, Swifty here, thanks for watching.